It's the bad boy, Joey Janela, and you're watching Dre 41. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dre 41, a.k.a. Mr. 4K, a.k.a. El Fuego, Spicy Dre. And I'm on the Let's Talk podcast with my co-host, Ken Washington. What's going on? What's up? Radio Voice is here for everybody. There, there we go. We're going to radio voice it up tonight. Um, so, made a little announcement on Twitter just talking about um, being able to play an alpha version of the wrestling code, which everybody sat there and thought, it ain't nothing ever going to happen. But I was able to play it, and guess who else was able to play it? Me? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> thought there was somebody behind me. <laughs> oh, then no, because, you know, me pointing like this way means someone else. Is yeah, well, you know, on my screen, you're over there. And oh, I'm on the opposite. pointing at my other screen, so. See yeah. how rich you are? You got multiple screens. I just... Sir? Sir? I don't know what to call I have three, it. but anyway, that's off topic. Wow. Oh, shit. Uh, rich people in America. So, um... We, we spoke about it a little bit before we started to record, and, you know, we can't talk about everything, so don't expect us to give you the full spiel on everything and all full details and all this it's other not our like, inbox. It, it's not going to help you. Yeah, like, you, no, you, you're not going to get all the information. This is just a little little snippet, you know, because it's, it's very early in development. Um, this was a pre-alpha build, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, like, so... Basically, we're going to get to it. You might see some editing in here because if you do, it's because, well, we can talk about it. So <laughs> it's that simple. You got to get over it. Um, all right. So initially, let's talk about the facts of the game in uh, general that the developer um, already announced on social media. They did announce it's going to be on Unreal Engine 5. All right. So um, you can expect a certain amount of detail when it comes to that. If you play the Matrix game, um, that's, that's, you know, where they're, they're going to as far as detail, um, in the game, um, release date window. I don't know what the release date is. Uh, the devs said they shoot for next year. That's 2023. So we will see. No, they didn't tell me. Why would they tell me? Why would I tell you if they told me they will announce it when they know. So there's no reason to ask when this game is coming out, right? Next year. That's what they said. Well, you know, go from there. Um, another thing, what is this game going to be on? It's going to be on PC and current gen consoles. So if you got an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4, don't expect to get this game. That's simple. It, that, that's also something that I spoke to the devs about in regards to, you know, getting it on, you know, as many platforms as possible. But because they're doing Unreal Engine 5 and that requires a lot of system strength, you got to go with next gen. You know yeah, what I'm that's, saying? That's from working in IT. I was going to be like, that's probably the problem is the way Unreal Engine 5 works, trying to back that up to the Xbox One and, and PS4 is, oh, it's possible, but it wouldn't work right, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it would be too much information on the screen and the game could possibly crash like yeah. a majority of time. Like, and what's the point of that? You know, but we ain't going to talk about games crashing. But um, please let's not. <laughs> We're not gonna go there. Podcast in its own. Um, but yeah, I want to give a, a special shout out to the devs um, at Virtual Basement for you know considering us, um, you know adding us, you know adding us to the group to you know help with the the process of the gameplay and you know ideas that we have in regards to making it better. And, you know, there's not a, a lot of times in today's world where you get a developer who grabs people from the community to come in and say, hey, help us. You know, like, we know that you guys enjoy this particular genre of games. Help us make a great game based on your experience, the games you play. Like, right now on my TV, I have King of Coliseum Red and Green right now. Like, I'm... I'm I'm old. I'm going through mad different games, getting ideas, things like that, because I want to make this game. I want to help make this game 
as great as it can be. You know what I'm no, saying? I'm not so. the only one. Like I got the the 64 hooked up. And, uh, no oh, mercy, me ready to ride. Oh. I'm about to run some matches in that because I, I there was something that I saw in No Mercy that I wanted to bring up to him. Mm-hmm. And oh, don't say it on here. Keep it a secret. No, 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 no I'm not gonna say it because I can't <laughs> remember it right offhand. That's why I gotta play it again. I gotta actually go through it and uh, see what it was again. But yeah, no, I'm. I'm happy. I, hey, they let me in. I appreciate you. If you're watching, I appreciate you. Look at us getting getting brought in on, on multiple games to help out with them. Look at you look know, at us. Who would have thought? Who would have who would have thunk it? Um. All right. So let's um talk about the the first uh one of the more more important parts uh based on you know who you're talking to uh visuals um without giving out too much details because you know we're we're sworn to confidentiality not, kind of. No, we're sworn. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, overall, if you want to, if you had to give an initial score of visuals, what would you uh, give it for the um, alpha build or pre-alpha build? For the pre-alpha build, I gotta mm-hmm. give it a solid seven, like okay. right out the gate. I just, even though it's it's a pre-alpha build, I was in awe of mm-hmm. of what I saw and what. What I saw from it versus playing other games, and you know that's this year. You know it's, it's not even out yet, and I was just like, "Man, polishing that—that's yeah. going to probably make my whole computer cry." But I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> like the one thing I can say, and 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 let me preface this and and let people know that we get to see a lot more than what they announce on social media. Okay. So when we talk about certain aspects of the game or visuals, you know, we can, I can, we can talk about, like, we can tell, like, okay, they're putting in that work, but we can't say specifically what for certain things, you know? Right. So just want you guys to have that understanding. Um, another thing, um, for me, visually, you know, everything for me looks solid. Um, because of the build, like I said, it's a pre-alpha, so you can't really expect everything to be, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, finished product, you know, because it's not a finished product. Right. You feel me? So I, w- I think I would have to go around seven, like where you were, what you were saying, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it is um, pre-alpha. Um, now, the one thing that I know I can speak about that I don't think the devs will have any issue with are the, the ring steps. The, like, if the visuals match, and, and once again, this is on Unreal Engine 5, you know. Oh, and another thing, make sure you got a strong enough PC. Oh, yeah. The game will tell you yeah, if you're you you know real enough. quick. <laughs> it's going to let you know, real, hey, listen, hey, hey, you want to play this? Hey, get your Put graphic some beef card in there, because uh, what you got in there? Yeah. <laughs> Because mine just makes it. Mine just makes it. And I'm happy about it. So I'm okay. I might have to upgrade. I don't want to. Oh, no. You're going to have to upgrade. Because I'm going to have to upgrade. Hey, listen. I, hey. Hey. We're going to turn down the the, the Charmins. I put it on the box. <laughs> turn that motion blur off. It's going to have the CRT TV playing it. But, no. <laughs> but the one thing I will have to say because it's Unreal Engine 5, and, and I've seen the Unreal Engine 5 presentation and the amount of detail work, like the one thing I can like I can say is the like the ring steps look amazing. Like you can tell the amount of detail in there that you, I have not, and I, and I don't want to sound like I'm like blowing smoke up anybody's ass, but I have yet to find the amount of detail that just for that one part of the ring, that one accessory of the ring has that much detail to where you can see reflections. Like, it's never, not, to my knowledge, it's never happened before. I mean, we've had ever. a WWE game since you know I can remember, and mm-hmm. even with the the newest polished um, 2K22, mm-hmm. the the ring steps still like it's just steps like you don't yeah, just see anything in them like you throw them into the steps and it's just but to actually see like the approach in the in the part that is yeah that's that's because when i first i'm looking at it i'm just like wait a minute I started like 
moving around next to him. Like, wait a minute. I can see the reflect. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, it's the little things that you never really think about until you actually see it. And you're just like, huh, that I that would have thought of that. That's that threw me off. Um, so yeah, definitely you can tell that work is being put in. Now, like I said uh before we um started speaking about the the steps, um, we do get to see a little bit more than what they do promote. And I can sit there and say without a shadow of a doubt that they do have great artists putting in some great work Absolutely. in regards to what you will eventually see. Um, like, I'm telling, like, you know, for a lot of the times, like you see in these wrestling games where it's like, and, and, I, and I can't even say wrestling games, I'll, I'll use it as, as a comparison. It's like in the 2K games, you see a lot of copy and paste. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really see anything that makes it stand out. We have seen things where it's like, oh, they're they're going all out. Like they're not interested in a copy and paste kind of deal. Right. And I, and I said this before in other videos where it's like, it's almost like they're kind of setting themselves up to be that, that next gen fire pro. You know what I'm saying? Like just the amount of detail that they're putting in. And, you know, um, as far as like, like the mocap i mean they show you that yeah. they're doing different mocap with different people and that's another thing that we got to um see in this um this build was how the mocap looks um um in game you know in the pre-alpha footage and me and kim was talking about it and it's difficult to really compare yeah. it to another wrestling game it's like very it's, hard. it's it's very difficult because it's like everybody has their own mocap so it's like, how do you compare, like, it, like okay, for you, if you had a, a scale of where you want to say it's tipping the scales to simulation or arcade, where do you, how do you feel, like, as far as movement goes? Just from the movement that, I'm, that I've messed with, mm -hmm. I... I'm definitely tipping more towards simulation than arcade mm. because it doesn't feel the same. Right. Like when again, comparing it to the only thing we have right now, 2K, well, of the newer yeah. stuff. Yeah. All of most of those men and women, when you're walking, it feels the same. But right. in, in, in this, it, it didn't feel the same at mm. all from this to that. So, yeah. And, and, yeah. and once again, like we, you have to preference this by saying everybody, well, not everybody, but everyone, why well, I keep saying everyone? <laughs> a majority of the roster will have their own motion capture. Or, you know, if they can't do it, then somebody will do it for them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's difficult to compare it because when you're walking around with said wrestler, because I'm not going to tell you what wrestler we're able to use or who we can use or whatever the case is. That's none of your business right now. But like based on like movements and stuff, it's like it it's it's different. Like because yeah. like I can like real talk, you could throw up a two K movement with a dummy, and I can say what game it came from because literally we've been seeing it year right. after year after year. Yeah, there's so nobody a fourteen. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so it's it's even before that we ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah. Um. But it's it's like it's difficult to compare it to any other wrestling game. And I know a lot of people want to have that type of scale, like, okay, I can compare it to this, but it's difficult because it's it's all mocap. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying? For each individual wrestler. Um, another thing, let's talk about um as far as you know the movement goes. Um, did you consider it smooth? Did you think it was janky? Like, how did you take um, the movements? It was very, very smooth. Um, the 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 ring ropes, the the different ways of being able to get in and out of the ring. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That aren't canned animations, yeah. Like that, that the same ones. You, you know what I'm saying? But knowledge, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just <laughs> the, the way the the movement. I thought it was. I thought it was real smooth like mm -hmm. the the just the sway and the swagger of each individual person it, mm -hmm. it that simulation tip 
Like it just it just felt like you were in that person. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's like it almost harpers back to like I want to say let's okay. I'm I'm gonna this is a bad comparison because this wrestling game is more arcadey, but it's it. Yeah. As far as attention to detail, this is the one game that I could really, or two games that I could really kind of compare it to, I guess, is like, shut your mouth and here comes the pain. As oh, far as, back back. yeah, as far as like individual movements and like yeah. character specific movements, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, and this is something that, you know, I've spoken about for the longest time, even like the initial time that I went out with um, Virtual Basement to do their initial mocap. Um, and it was just like, you know, you, you don't get that nowadays. So it's like when you're using a character, that's the character. Uh, perfect example. They, they posted that, you know, Vampiro came out, you know, to do um, yeah. motion capture. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's that's such a cool thing, because now, you know, you know, when you select Vampiro, that's his. That's, that's, that's him moving. Right. Like that, that's his movements. You know what I'm saying? That's him getting in the ring, getting out the ring, uh, climbing the ropes or doing a taunt. You know what I'm saying? So it, it brings it to a different level to where it's, it's detailed that you, that you won't get. And, I'm, and, I, and I, I don't want to get on here and feel like I'm bashing 2K because it's like they hire people to come in and do mocap for certain stars as opposed right. to the stars coming in to do their mocap. In. So it's, it's different. Can some people emulate other people's movements well? Yes. Absolutely. But you're not going to get that actual movement unless you're using the actual person. Well, I, don't, I don't think it's bashing on them because we know how they, I mean, we the, they've showed us before how they do it. So it's, mm-hmm. it's not like bashing. It's yeah. just more of, you know, especially since their virtual basement is showing you who they're bringing out to do the most, you know that, like you said, it's that person versus mm. 2K where they have a person or a couple people that do it. So I don't really feel that as bashing. It's just like showing the difference between what one is and what one is going to be. Right. And also, like, another thing that I want to um, get back to um, in regards to looks is, I mean, the important thing, wrestling, it's a wrestling ring. Once again, pre-alpha um so you know ring size overall looks good i mean yeah looks like a 20 by 20 ring to me uh, <laughs> i mean i don't know how else to like really talk about that i mean um the the one thing that you know because uh, uh, one thing that kind of threw me off and once again the only thing we can compare it to is 2k it's like the ring in 2k looks smaller like or may, I don't know. It's just which which two K? Because twenty two, twenty two looks small. Oh, it does look a little small. Yeah, I know in one of the two Ks that ring was massive. Like oh yeah, you yeah. Irish before they used to have they the was for about four five seconds before they hit the rope. Was it? Um, I think when 14, you had like a a battle 14, royal or something thirteen something like that. Like when you had like a battle like royal ring. Yeah, the ring was like really big. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. So um, the ring size looks good. Um, there's not really much else we can really talk about without getting into uh, a lot of detail and then getting in trouble. So yeah, I'm not trying to do that. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna I hold enjoy what, what, what little I do. <laughs> right. So um, you know, this isn't gonna be one of those long drawn out episodes, but um, overall, um, how did you like enjoy the uh, the pre alpha gameplay? I was already excited for the wrestling code to begin with. And it was one reason why I um, got a computer in the first place mm-hmm. was literally because of that. Um, so after messing around with the, the alpha um, pre built pre alpha, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Um, I am even more excited to see what happens and even if it didn't come out till 2024, the excitement is there because, you know, they've, they've put, I feel like they've put forth the effort to, to keep everybody excited with what they're showing on social media. And then with, you know, what we're 
sneak peeking, I guess you can say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get in trouble with that. All right. <laughs> well, um, for me, I think it's really cool. Um, uh, one aspect of it that I didn't really speak about that I definitely want to get into really quick is being able to see the work that I helped with in regards to character design and I can move around with them, not even being particular on what specific character, because I did so, I helped with so many, but it's cool to see your work like on screen and yeah. moving around because like the designs that I did took hours, like hours, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, <laughs> I don't even realize some, some of them I did while I was at work. <laughs> I, Listen, I'm I hoping just, nobody you work with uh... <laughs> that they don't know. That's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I was I, like, when I'm in the office, like when it's downtime, I'm like, mm, okay, get this bang this out, send this out. But it's it's so cool, and it's like just having that ability to help with um, character designs and attires and and merchandise. Like I've I've helped wrestlers who are on the wrestling code with their merchandise, which is yeah, super yeah. cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's more stuff. I always have so much stuff I could sit there and talk about, but that would be down the line when I get the okay. But yeah, oh, he's trying to put himself over us. I'm not. It, well, I, I, I welcome you to the film. Come on now. I, I, I said, welcome to the film. I did that. Come on now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, um Overall, for the pre office for me, it's really cool. Um, it's so difficult to um, explain or try, try to compare it to another wrestling game because it stands on its own two feet, honestly. Like, that that's basically, like, it, and I'm not saying, like, it, it reinvented the wheel, but it brought, it, it brings back the little things that makes it stand out. You know, yeah. little things that could have stayed in in any wrestling game, in, in any WWE 2K game that we would have appreciated, appreciated, and you know what I'm saying? It just would have been like, oh, okay. Are you but, sure I got emails saying they couldn't do? Never mind. Never. Mind. We, ain't, we ain't gonna talk about it. But <laughs> no bashing. Um, but yeah, man. Overall, yo, like I said, it's it's difficult to compare it to any game because it has that detail, it has that that nuance to it. So when you have it in your hands, it's 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 like something brand new yeah you know what i'm saying so that's that's something really cool so i have to definitely give shout outs to the devs on that one man they, they definitely did their thing um anything else you want to close out uh with and let the people know i guess i'll put you over it is cool to know somebody who you know put some work in there and then seeing it and being like hey, that's the homie right there <laughs> he, he did that all right that is right. pretty cool yeah so i yeah, pre appreciate it man so Thank you guys uh, for watching this episode. I know y'all probably like, damn, they ain't really talk. What you, what you want me to do? Spill all the beans and uh, they my want job? Us, they want <laughs> us to get dirty. They want right? us to get all down and deep into it. One, Have one, us in jail or with lawsuits to, you know, prevent me from collecting more figures. I got more figures to collect. Y'all ain't going to get my money. Not like that. <laughs> Listen, we once we get the okay to talk about more, we definitely will. Believe me. There's plenty of stuff we could talk about. So definitely subscribe if you're new here because we're definitely going to have um, more information on the game once we're able to talk about it more. But other than that, subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all stay safe. As for the homie Ken Washington, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Later. <laughs>